Welcome to the NovaTime system presentation. Supervisors will begin by logging into the system. Once there, there's a host of features available for their use. But starting off here, we have the NovaTime dashboard, which will show on one screen all the activity the supervisor needs to address. So the first thing we're going to do here is look at employees who are absent. So the screen is just going to filter down on employees who had absences during that pay period. The system user will go here, select the pay code, select the number of hours, so in this case sick, save it. Now this person's done with all the absences for all the employees that are assigned to them. Now we're going to go back to the dashboard and you'll see the absences are now gone. All we have left is missing punches. So we click on the miss punch feature. It's going to take us to the timesheet, filtered only for employees that had missing punches. In this case there were two. We'll go and we'll make the corrections and this time I'm going to key in 1705 as one of the examples of one of the methods of time entry. Click save here. We're going to go to the next employee and we're going to correct this employee's time by using the standard AM PM format. If a supervisor is used to doing this, they can key it in this way as well. So in this case 5 colon 00 PM is also a valid entry. We'll save this and then we're going to go back to the dashboard but once we get there, you're going to notice that now all the exceptions have been addressed. They've taken care of that situation, and they can now move on to the rest of the system. In this case, there are some requested time off, some vacation time requests for an employee. So they click on that from the dashboard. It'll take them to that employee or those employees, so they can go through and either approve or decline the employee time off request. So in this case, I'm approving two days, but on the third day, I'm actually going to decline it and include a message back to the employee as to why it's being declined. The employee will receive this message by email and if they're using the web services in the web services itself. Once the message is done and this screen is saved, the transactions that you've already approved or declined will clear from the screen. These are going to automatically post to the employee's timesheet, the ones that were approved and the screen clears because there are no more records pending. This supervisor is now done with all the work that they have to do in the system. The dashboard, as you can see now, everything is clear. So they can now go ahead and get on with the rest of their day. For reporting purposes, they'll come in here. We've got reports that are published to the system users or to everyone. In this case, it's to this user. They can simply just highlight the report, click Preview, based on the standard parameters that were set up in the beginning and you can see the report. In this case, aside from everything else, I've also got a head count included as a far right hand column. Now to show you how simple it is to make changes to the reports, in this case I'm going to go to the data selections area. I'm going to go ahead and remove the head count parameter and then click preview again. And now you see the report no longer has a head count column. So it's very easy to make changes to reports. You can also publish these to all system users, to selected system users, or just to yourself throughout the system using the features down here available on the screen. Once the supervisor is done with everything in the system, they simply just log.